We have figured out new battery chemistries to make longer lasting batteries that can give you more range or longer lasting batteries in consumer applications like cell phones or computers, things like mm -hmm. that. Not only do we do the extraction, but we do the refinery and conversion to battery grade ready lithium. We also have figured out synergies to next generation batteries using lithium metal, which is one type of lithium. So lithium can come in a few different formats. We're focused on new battery chemistry to make higher energy dense batteries in layman's terms translates to longer lasting batteries that can either give you more range or longer lasting batteries in consumer applications like cell phones or computers, things like mm -hmm. that. And also, you know, I think with EVs, the number one reason that people don't buy EVs or the number one issue people have with them is range anxiety. Like they're always worried they're going to run out of power. Yeah, that really only comes into play in, in certain scenarios. Like typically a person will drive to work and drive home and maybe drive you know, max 50 to 100 miles per day. And then you charge your car at night and there is no problem with that, right? You obviously never want to run out of battery in the middle of nowhere, right? Especially going on vacation or something. Yeah, going on vacation. So Tesla has designed a, a pretty robust charging network, but as more and more electric vehicles come online, there's larger and larger lines. So having batteries that have higher energy density equating to longer range for a car is a really important thing. As batteries become better, they are not only meant for cars, but long long range trucking, like that's a huge carbon emitter. And then you could even look at other industries like airplanes and things like that, like transitioning to a completely renewable energy future is going to take better batteries. It's almost like computers, you know, today, you could think about how silly it would be to use a computer of 20 years ago with, with like how much memory and, and RAM uh, and processing power a computer had. But but in the moment, you think it's good, right? Sure. Like 8-bit so, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's so much more possibility with creating better batteries uh, that can not only be used for mobile solutions, but also uh, stationary solutions like powering houses or businesses or you know, yeah. buildings and things like that, powering the grid. We are working on building a better battery chemistry that will then partner with mass manufacturer to make this thing that can charge a car for a thousand miles or, you know, maybe yeah. a phone for three days. To your point, everywhere I look, everyone's retrofitting or doing EB. There's a, there's a company here in Seattle that's retrofitting boats, which is pretty dang cool, right? It's, it's quieter. It's got more power to it. Like, so cool because boats are yeah. so noisy and like I, I i wake surf in the summer and i get there just in, inhaling exhaust and like this isn't fun <laughs> right so that's cool uh, i know they're doing it with planes i think that the only challenge with the planes is going to be just they're heavy right batteries are heavy but everywhere you look i have a one wheel i don't know if you played with those much you know it's got the big go-kart tire and it's basically just an ev yeah, pack yeah. it's one of the coolest toys by the way i've ever had i hope that it doesn't run out of battery while you're riding it oh i've had that so I, i'm kind of on a mountain once and i I was turning in this corner and it just died on me. And I literally went airborne into the bushes and, and the, the one wheel tumbled down into this hill and I didn't know where it was. It was getting dark. Did you not get injured? My elbow and my legs were all bloody. Okay. <laughs> so I had to bushwhack through like some sticker bushes with two sticks and the one wheels are a machine. I had a lot of respect yeah. for it. I just knocked all the mud off and I rode it and I ended up riding it home. But I had one of the V1s. I got it on Kickstarter. So right. sometimes it just decides to turn off when you're riding. And when you're going 20 miles an hour, that's that's not a good thing. I think they've solved that problem, but yeah. V1, V1's definitely, yeah. My learning lesson from having the V1 of uh, anything is like, you're gonna have a lot of issues with it, right? But I think the new, uh, the new one wheels are pretty dang cool. Yeah.